Today I want to take you through the Shortel Connect client and we're going to look at these tabs and go through each one to talk about the various things that they do. So first we'll look at our ourself and what our state is as far as availability. We're going to look at the people tab, recent activity, the events tab, and also work groups, which is related to this little fellow right here. So the very first thing, of course, you can see that you've got access to type in a name or a number. So let's say that I want to call Eric. So I can see Eric's information right here and I can go ahead and double click to call him if I'd like. This little green stripe tells me that Eric is not on the phone. I can see his extension and his direct dial, which if you have that available, you would see those things. You can right click here and you would see that I have it listed to show phone number. The default is that you don't see that information. So if you do want to actually know what extension you're dialing, you can come right here, right click, hit show phone number and you see that information. So I'm going to X out of that. So that's a quick, easy way to do that. This is a little dial pad if you wanted to have that or needed it for some reason. And then you've got, of course, your name and it's showing you what phone is currently associated with your Connect client. You have a little drop down here where you can change your state, your call handling mode. So you can say, I'm in a meeting and so my phone calls are going to go right to my voicemail. Or if I'm out of the office, there's also do not disturb, vacation, or you can create a customized call handling mode if you needed it. So I'm going to come back here to green. Green means go. Red would mean stop. So the very first tab I want to really go into here is the people tab. If I double, if I click to expand this, you can see a list of all of my favorite people. And these are people that I've called often. And so you can see the list here. Um, let's say that I really don't call Patrick very much and I rarely have to call Kevin. So I'm gonna take those guys out. And it's just as simple as clicking on the star. I'm gonna take Ryan out. But let's say I actually do wanna add someone in. Let's say it was like, oh, I didn't mean to take Ryan out of my list. I can type Ryan's name in, here he is. And it's just as simple as me hitting the little gold star. And now Ryan is once more in my good graces and one of my favorites. That just makes it a little easier when you're looking to transfer a call or to call somebody You've got your list of all of your favorite people or places right here. You also have groups, which are great. This allows you to group people together so that you can uh, do some really quick functions. So here with my operations groups, I've got Joy and Kimberly and Eric. Let's say that I want to actually do a group chat with those guys. I come right here. Let me just make this so you can see it a little better. So if I click start a group chat right here, it's going to send an IM to all of them and I'll be able to say like, hey team, you know, I've got this new part number or you know, something equally as exciting. I can also schedule a meeting with the group. And again, using Outlook integration, I can click here, it's gonna pull up my Outlook and I'll be able to schedule a meeting with these three people just that quickly. I can also send the group a voicemail not something that you know you would do very often necessarily, but it would be a fast, easy way to get information out to everybody within your group. Handy little feature, you can see all the members of that operations group that I've created. You see them right here. And if you need to edit the group because you realize like, oh my gosh, I actually need to have David Ness in this group as well, I can just drag him over and drop him right in there. So it's just that easy to go ahead and make a group and then save changes to that group as needed. So I've saved the changes. And now as I come back and come to people and look at my group, there's David, David's there. Speaking of David's, you can see here on this group feature that David Simpson is out of the office. All of these other folks are green and they've got you know availability underneath their, uh, they've got available underneath their name. But David Simpson, I can see is out of the office. So I, I know that I'm not gonna talk to him. I can certainly leave them a voicemail or something like that, but that's a really handy little way for me to know that there's a reason why David Simpson has not gotten back to me with my question. So it's super easy to either create a new contact, which will also import into um, Outlook for you, and to create a new group, just this simple. Let's go ahead and click this. Let's say we're gonna do test group. 
And then to, to add number, uh, to add members, I can either type in different names. So I can say I want to add Kimberly to this group. And let's say I also want to add Lexi. And let's say that I also want to add Daniel to this, one of my project managers. So I've got these people in my group. And if I realize like, oh, wait, you know, no, Lexi does not need to be in this group. I can just click this little X and then Lexi is gone. I can also just drag people over as you saw me do before. It's just that simple. And then you can save your changes right here or cancel if you realize like, oh yeah, this is not something that I need. So I'm going to, to cancel and discard my changes. So, uh, and the reason mostly I did that is because I already have a test group down here with these people. And once again, I clicked on it and here, here we are. I can, again, start a group chat, I can schedule a meeting, or I can send a group voicemail. So that is the people tab. Here under recent, this is gonna show us recent activities. And right now, my uh, setting is set to just look at recent calls. And I'll just stay right here on this little part for just a moment. I can see all of my call history, or I can see just missed calls. So I can see all the different people that have tried to reach out to me and I was not at my desk. So, and again, here's everybody, and then all just missed calls. But in addition to calls, you can see voicemails and instant messages. So if you wanted to just see everything, just throw it all together, it's all right here. Voicemails, missed calls, instant messages, it's all right here for you. So that's your recent tab, it's very, very powerful. Under events, you can see that I've got a little red one right here, and that is saying that I've got an event coming up because we use the Outlook integration. So if I click on events, I can see that, yeah, what I've got coming up is at one o'clock, I've got a little meeting. Uh, and as you can see, I've got a meeting right now with myself that, that is happening. And then going forward, here are the various things that I've got going on for the next week or so. I can also see past events right here and see the various things that I've done in recent days. And if I wanted to, I can take a look at the calendar and look at just a particular day. I can see what do I need to do on the 31st and then going forward. So simple, quick, easy, very responsive ways to take a look at what I've got coming up or what I was doing recently. So that's the events tab. And last, a lot of you are going to have the work group tab. Not everyone is in work groups, but a lot of people use work groups to help with call handling and call flow. So if you do have work groups uh, as part of your tab list here, you may also have a shared uh, voicemail or two. So this little voicemail tile is related to work groups, as you can see right here. And it's telling me that there are four unheard messages. So let's go ahead and expand our work group. And I'm just going to hide this really quickly so that we can just see this first part. So this shows me all the different work groups that I'm a part of. And then if I wanna see the details, I can click to open those up and let me just make it so we can see this better. So here we go, so I've got I've got these various calls that have come in over the course of the last several days. So if I wanna actually listen to this voicemail, I can click here on the little tape icon and you can see that I can play it. I could reply to this voicemail, forward it on to someone else or I can delete it, obviously. I can listen to it through computer speakers or through my phone, which is very convenient. And I can also, if I right click up here, I can delete the voicemail in a different way. I could edit the voicemail subject line so that I could send this to someone else and give them a better sense of what this is about. I can also download this voicemail as a WAV file and hold on to it or share it with someone if I needed to. It's also a handy way to um, create greetings that you can then import into Short Hall Director for say auto attendance, that sort of thing. And the last thing you can do is actually uh, copy the voicemail ID and what that does is actually allows a technician to really get into the metadata of a particular call and figure out, say, why that call sounded a little choppy, something like that. So occasionally when we're doing troubleshooting, we're going to ask you to come in and take a look and get us the, um, uh, the, the ID for a particular call. It's very convenient. 
So those are the various things you can do. And as you can see, clicking on it opens it or closes it. And then again, if you needed to delete this, you would go ahead and hit delete. And that's going to change. This number is going to go down to three. Or of course, obviously, after you've listened to the call, this number will go down as well. And why this is so helpful is because, because this is a shared work group, there are you know, any number of people who are also going to have this little black tile on their Shortel Connect client when they log in. And everyone's going to think, oh my gosh, I've got four voicemails to look at. But because the Shortel is clever, as soon as you listen to that voicemail, the number goes down. So you would see that there are voicemails, but that everyone has handled them or that there's only one voicemail left. And so you expand the tile and you're going to take care of that last voicemail. So it's a nice, easy way to make sure that the customers are being taken care of and that everything is handled properly. So that is the Shortel Connect client. So just to review what we've been through, we looked at the basics for call handling. We looked at the people tab and saw that we could both create new groups and we could also look at favorites. Then we looked at recent activity, which you can see, you can look at calls, voicemails, messages, or filter it so that you're seeing everything. We also saw the event integration that's available. So as you can see what is coming up for you in the, in the coming hours of your workday. And then for many of you, you're going to have a work group option as well. And you're going to see work group voicemails and shared voicemails with the work group team.